Hello, my name's Carl Kochar and I'm a technical architect at Microsoft. This short demo shows how you can access Microsoft Teams audio conferencing service numbers via direct routing. An example use case for this feature is to allow PBX connected end users to dial into a Teams meeting across a direct routing trunk without having to break out into the PSDN. Both dial in and dial out are supported. For Darlene, you just need to ensure that the inbound calls are placed correctly to the direct routing trunk. In my lab example, all I had to do was to add the dial plan elements needed to connect calls to the Microsoft bridge numbers across my SBC SIP trunk. To enable dial out to attendees from a meeting, I created an online audio conferencing routing policy and assigned it to my user Joni. One important point to note is that at the time I created the video, the documentation clearly stated this feature isn't intended to route inbound calls into the Teams audio conferencing service via third party numbers. Check out the documentation for any updates or further details. In this demo, Adele is hosting a Teams meeting and she has invited James Holden. To test the on-net direct routing access to the Teams audio conferencing feature, James dials the bridge number provided in his Teams meeting invite from Adele. Welcome to the Audio Conferencing Center. Please enter a conference ID, followed by hash. He then enters the conference ID. And is placed in a meeting lobby. If you're the meeting organizer, press star now. You're now joining the meeting. Please wait for the leader to admit you to the meeting. Thank you for your patience. Back on Adele's client, she sees James in the lobby and grants him access to the meeting. Using her in-meeting controls, Adele can also mute and remove James from the meeting if she needs to. In this next example, Joni can add James by dialing out across her tenant's direct routing trunk to bring James into the meeting. 